The posse habla. You are cells. Your muscles, organs, yep. skin, and hair. Everything. They are in your blood and in your bones. Cells are biological robots. They don't want anything. They don't feel anything. Yeah, cells are pretty dumb. Or happy. They just are. Right here. Right now. They're as conscious as a stone or a chair or a neutron star. Cells just follow their programming that's been evolving and changing for billions of years, molded by natural selection. Yeah, they don't they think. They are impossible machines, and yet, here they are, driven entirely by the fundamental forces of the universe. The smallest unit of life, right at the border where physics becomes biology. Sometimes... Where is that line? When does physics become biology? <laughs> is there like a clear-cut border? Or is it kind of a fuzzy area? To get a truer understanding of how amazing something is, you need to hold your breath and dive in really deep. Yeah, you gotta go back to the so basics for a lot of things. And how do they work? Look around the room you're sitting in right now. Let's fill it top to bottom with trillions of grains of sand, billions of grains of rice, hundreds of thousands of grapes, a few thousand apples, and a dozen watermelons. Okay. This is what the inside of your cells looks like. Fruity. In terms of numbers, they're mostly filled up with water molecules, the grains of sand. Okay, okay. Water gives the cells insides the consistency of soft jelly and enables other things to move around easily. Or is that why we're like 70% water or whatever that number is? Is because the inside of our cells are mostly water? That makes sense. Is that why it's so important for us to have water? And why all life that we know of needs water? Almost all the other things, the rice and fruit, are proteins. Several billion in total, more than 10,000 different- Many things shown in the video are much more complex in reality. We represent them symbolically for the clarity of visual storytelling. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. That's one thing that I will say about Kurzgesagt that I absolutely love about them. Which I don't really have much bad at all to say about them ever. But one of my absolute favorite things is how they simplify a topic down. They keep it at an entry level. So that way it's accessible to a much wider audience. That way people with little to no knowledge on the topic can watch that video and come away with something. Whether that's a desire to learn more and get more educated on that topic or whether it's just an interesting factoid learned that's furthered your knowledge a little bit. They keep it very accessible, and I love and respect that. In the process of doing so, they have to tell a few little white lies, simplify a few things down. Maybe not everything they say is 100% true because it's just too complex for the target audience. But you have to forgive them that. Because otherwise, this wouldn't be a video for most of the people that are watching it, myself included. Different kinds, depending on the function of the cell. Your cells are basically protein robots, as is all life, really. Protein robots, In fact, okay. All solid, non fat parts of your body are mostly made out of protein, even your bones. Proteins are. Ah, that's why that protein's so happen. important. How does this work? The language of life. Cells need Love. to do many very hard things to stay alive. Get food in and waste out, grow and build structures, escape danger or react to stimuli, make copies of themselves, and so on. All of this is done by speaking the language of life. And the words of this language are proteins. Okay. This is how this language works in a nutshell. It all begins with amino acids, tiny organic molecules. They're the alphabet of the language of life. There are 21 different ones, like different letters. Amino acid A, amino acid B, C, and so on. Okay. If you put around 50 amino acids together, they form a protein, which in the language of life is a word. And if you put many of these protein words together, how does this sentence make life a though? biological pathway? Let's oversimplify a bit and say, for example, your cell needs to break down sugar with the language of life. It may take the amino acids for the letters B, R, E, A, and K to form the protein word break. Then combine this word with other protein words to form a biological pathway sentence that means break down sugar. In reality, this. What? 
What do you mean? That's how that works? <laughs> what? Oh god, I'm getting my mind blown right now. This language of life is so complex that it defies imagination. You need to know about 8,000 words to speak a human language really well. Okay. But in the language of life, there are an estimated 20,000. And while the average English word has five letters, human proteins have an average of 375 amino acids. The longest protein what? has more than 30,000. What? And cells need to execute thousands of steps at any moment. If they ever stop speaking the language of life, they die. What? It's that complex? And this is simplified? This is oversimplified? What? I. Okay. But how do mindless cells speak a language this complex? Yes, how? Let's dive a little deeper. There are 21 amino acids that can be combined to form proteins. And proteins are made up of dozens to hundreds to thousands of amino acids. For the this is so crazy. The average protein length of a human cell of 375 amino acids, you get a stunning 6.8 times 10 to the power of 495 possible proteins your cells can make. A quadrillion no. Google, 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 Google times more than there are atoms in the universe. Most of these possible proteins are useless. What? <laughs> I... <laughs> I'm totally having my mind blown here. What the heck? There's that many different combinations? How many combinations are there out there that actually do something useful that we have not seen? I mean, virtually infinite, right? This is insane. You know, my whole life, I've had a crazy interest in astrophysics because I think space is so complex and insanely just mind-numbingly large <laughs> and complex, right? I'm realizing between the immunosystem videos and this video that I could probably dedicate the rest of my life to the study of this biology and still not understand how the hell we work by the time I die. I've said it once and I will say it many more times. We are miracles. We are absolutely miracles. Just like with human language, most random letter combinations are just gibberish. So you need to know which words make which sense. proteins make up a language to speak it properly. And this is the job of your DNA, a long sequence of instructions. If you untangle the cell's DNA, it would be about two meters long. For one or cell? What is DNA combined into one long string would reach to the sun and back over 20 times. Around what? 1% of your DNA. What? Outside to lost for words. 20 times. To and from the sun? How do we exist? <laughs> we are impossible. What the heck? It is made up of genes, which are basically protein dictionaries that contain all the words of the language of life your cells speak. But genes are also the building manuals for all the proteins your cells need to function. The rest of your DNA is probably not useless, but basically like a set of rules. It's like the book of grammar of the language of life. Hmm. Which proteins need to be built at which time? How many of them do you need? Which protein words go together and why? Okay, letters, words, sentences, dictionary, and grammar. <laughs> but of course, this is all just a metaphor for something mind-numbingly complex. Let's dive a little deeper to catch a glimpse of reality. How dead proteins make life. Oh yeah, now... <laughs> Now that we're done with the super simple stuff, guys, now we're going to dive a little deeper. <laughs> oh my god, what the heck is this even? Now that we have some basic principles, we have a chance to understand how dead things make life together. Uh -huh. And for that, we need a fundamental force yeah. of the universe. Electric how does that happen? Hey, that's like one of my favorite forces. That make up atoms, which make up amino acids. They're all my favorite forces. Charges that attract or repel each other. The 21 different amino acids all have slight. Let me rewind for a sec there. That make up atoms, which make up amino acids, have different charges that attract or repel each other. Okay, yeah. The 21 different amino acids all have slightly different charges. Some are more negative, others more positive. 
When your cells build proteins, okay. they put different amino acids together in chains, basically long strings. Now, because of the different charges of the amino acids used, these strings begin to fold in on themselves. This folding process is so complex that we still haven't completely understood how no. exactly it works. No. Is that... No. I've never once, in all of the articles and all the videos that I've read and or seen about protein folding and breakthroughs in that with artificial intelligence and processing and how they're using that to try and find new antibiotics, etc., etc., I never once for half a second stopped to question what the heck protein folding actually is. It's the different charges making it bend on itself as it attracts and repulses. What? Wow. We're insane. We're nuts. How are our bodies? How do we work? How do we work? But in a nutshell, 1D strings become 3D structures. Proteins are basically 3D puzzle pieces with a very specific shape. In the world of proteins, shape is everything. It's like those connect blocks. determines which areas of a protein are charged in which way, and this determines how it can interact with other proteins. Huh. All of these differently charged puzzle pieces can snap together or repel each other. When they snap together, their charge changes, which can make them change their shape, which then makes them a new protein, a new tool that can do new things. This is what makes proteins so incredibly powerful. You can do basically everything with them. They can snap together like Lego pieces to build complex structures. They can dismantle things. They can form complex micro machines that use energy to do work. And maybe most stunningly, they can convey information. Let's say there's a toxic chemical entering your cell. There may be a protein shaped to snap to that toxin. If the protein finds that toxin, it changes its shape. With that new shape, it can now snap into a different protein that changes its shape again. This new protein activates a micro machine that directly binds to your DNA to order the production of a special protein which acts as an antidote to the toxin. This cascade of interaction is the pathway we spoke about earlier, a sentence in the language of life. So without a single active thought, proteins have fixed a problem and saved the cell's life. In reality, these pathways can have dozens to hundreds of steps. What the hell? How is it this complex? And this is oversimplified. This is oversimplified. And it's this complex. What the hell? <laughs> I just... Ah! I'm used to going into these videos with at least a basic understanding of what we're talking about. And this has been consistently mind-blowing. Mind blow after mind blow after mind blow after mind blow. I mean, my brain is mush after this. I, I am now realizing how little I know about biology and how this stuff works. Not that I thought I knew a bunch before, but I guess that I never realized how complex this actually was. And this is being oversimplified. How do we work? How life operates is so incredibly awe-inducing. It is. Somehow. Mind-numbingly complex interactions between dumb and dead proteins create a less dumb and less dead cell. Somewhere around here, life happens, but we still don't know what life is. How dumb things are smart together. We need another analogy, so let's talk about ants. Ants share a fundamental property with cells. They are really dumb. A single ant will just... <laughs> They're really dumb. I, too, share a fundamental property with cells. Just stumble around uselessly. But if you put a lot of ants together, they exchange information and do amazing things. Ants are amazing. Constructing complex structures, organizing themselves, caring for broods, or attacking enemies. Although dumb individually, together they become something greater. This phenomenon occurs all over nature and is called emergence. That's a really cool the picture there. That entities have properties and abilities that their parts do not have. Emergence, this yes. Is how everything in your body works. Your cells are bags of proteins guided by chemistry. But together, these proteins form a living being that can do a lot of really sophisticated things. Cells are mindless robots that are even dumber than ants. 
but many of them acting together form specialized tissue and organ systems from muscles that make your heart beat to brain cells that make you think. If you look outside at the incredible dimension and scale of space, a place where forever is a real thing, yeah. it's almost impossible not to feel a bit small, not special. But if you look inside into what you really are, you just discover almost indescribable complexity, the beautiful language of life. That was beautiful. That was just absolutely beautiful. It's how do we exist? How are we alive? How did this happen? <laughs> this is the most I've been mind blown by any video I've ever watched. <laughs> I just, now I want to go learn everything about biology. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, especially if you made it this far. If you like this video, hit the like button. I would sure appreciate it if you subscribed. We're almost at 200 subscribers, growing strong. And leave a comment. I love interacting with you guys. Have yourself a wonderful day.